Hey, what's up, everybody? BDL44 coming at you with another video. All right, so I'm telling you right now, it's too hot to shave. So you're getting this hairline today. I don't care. So then y'all know. So anyway, y'all know that. I'm, I'm like this. I don't care. I wear my hair like this probably three times out of the week. It's just is what it is. But you'll never see it in person. I know how to clean up. Either way, that ain't what we're here to talk about, man. We're here to talk about Jordan Clarkson and potentially him going to the Milwaukee Bucks because I really, really like the potential of that. I hear there's a rumored trade. I didn't see any framework. I don't know if it's real. The source isn't even reliable. So don't take this as anything other than me saying, you know what? I like the fit there because that's all I'm saying. The Bucks may be interested in Jordan Clarkson. They may not be, but I think they should be. I think that's a damn good idea. Whoever came up with that rumor, yeah, the Bucks should actually take that and run with it. It would be a perfect addition to their team. Uh, they were missing that piece last year in the playoffs. It really came down to this. They were far too reliant upon Grayson Allen and Pat Connaughton to boost their bench in the playoffs. Um, Pat Connaughton is a player who showed up in the finals, did some fantastic things. Um, obviously, you, you know of Grayson Allen. He's a big-time uh, guy that can shoot off the bench, uh, did some really good things in the playoffs, made a name for himself against the Bulls, breaking Caruso's arm and that kind of thing. <laughs> but, um, you know, he... He's someone to be taken seriously, but unfortunately, where he is in his production, his progression, coupled with the weaknesses of that bench, he wasn't able to remain consistent throughout the playoffs in the way that they needed him to be, uh, in order to provide that scoring punch off the bench that allowed them to get over the hump. They need that piece this season. If they can acquire a guy who's won a Six Man of the Year award, who's been the runner-up for Six Man of the Year multiple times. A guy who's been to the NBA Finals with LeBron James in Cleveland. I think that makes a lot of sense. I don't know what his price tag would be for the Bucks, but if you can put it together, uh, I think that could be a really incredible boost to your win now situation. I think Jordan Clarkson should definitely be, definitely be someone that win now teams are going after if they need that piece. And I think that the Bucks are the number one team, number one team that could probably use Jordan Clarkson right now to be completely honest with you because they really do need that Wiggly player that can create his own off the bench. They need that scoring punch. They need that guy who can go for 25, 30 points. Uh, if for some reason Giannis is in foul trouble or something, that is a piece that helps everybody stay strong. And I think, you know, if you get a Jordan Clarkson, you can immediately vault the Bucks back up to the top of the Eastern Conference because I don't think the Bucks need a lot. They just need bench players. They've already proven that they're an NBA champion with this core. They've already proven that with the pieces they have in place, they can still compete it uh, deep into the playoffs, even without a strong bench. So all they need is that Jordan Clarkson piece to kind of come in and give Giannis that just extra boost. Then they off back to where they need to be. So if that if it costs them a first round pick to get JC for the Bucks, I think it might actually be worth it because um, he could be the difference between having a chance to get to the finals and ultimately not being good enough to beat the Phillies, the Clevelands. Uh, the Boston's, etc. So that's that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. I think that makes a lot of sense. Go get Jay Z, and if you can, uh, probably grab something else too. Because you know, I think again they have win now aspirations. I do believe that a player like um, Clarkson, of course, but maybe even uh, Bogdanovich, uh, if you're the Bucks, depending on your cap situation, I don't know it. He's at 19 mil for one season. But, um, again, when you're a win-now situation, maybe you see the fruit in that. I, I, I don't know. I'm probably a hypocrite because I don't think you should sign on for a player that you don't plan on re-signing. So if they didn't want to re-sign him, uh, probably not. But uh, that's just kind of a, someone that can help boost their shooting, give them a little more insurance for Middleton, for which was ultimately a real problem having him absent um, in these playoffs. So, yeah. Boost to that bench. I think Philly should continue to tweak their bench as well. I love what they're doing. Um, so if if JC is, is someone they could fit in their cap, I think it would be an excellent addition to that squad as well. Um, in the Lakers as well, if for some reason uh, we want to, uh, you know, go in a different direction other than Kyrie Irving, if for some reason that doesn't work out, I think JC, as I've said before, is somebody I would like to bring in this, um, in that way for that role. Uh, so, you know, JC should have plenty of suitors um right now you know it's obvious that the utah jazz are looking to uh move on from pieces uh and i think jc is probably the most desirable one i really believe that uh so yeah that's what i gotta say man bdl 44 thank you all for watching